You've seen this guy up close and personal the last few years. What does he mean to the Giants? Uh, he means everything, and I can make an argument that Hunter Pence, without acquiring him in 2012, the Giants don't win the World Series in 2012. They don't win the World Series in 2014. As a matter of fact, over the All-Star break, I was at Tim Hudson's 40th birthday party, and every time... Good party? Unbelievable. <laughs> every time his name came up, everyone was saying, hey, look, this guy is quote unquote special. I mean, he is the guy that literally they, they spoke of him as if he's this sort of mythical figure, one like this 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 ultimate leader. And for me, when you look at what's happened for Hunter Pence since he arrived in San Francisco, everything, every single thing, it's just been crazy. He flies himself over. It starts with that. He bought his own plane ticket. Why? because he wanted to get to the ballpark in time for the game that night. Unfortunately, he gets there right after the game. This is immediately after the game. And 2012 wasn't perfect for him either. He's struggling a little bit. You see him kicking a ball around defensively. Offensively, he hit only 219 for the Giants down the stretch. And then they're down zero games to two to Cincinnati. They have to go to Cincinnati to play three straight games. Guess what? They win all three. And then, bam, same sort of thing, St. Louis. He is the guy that they rally around. He is their leader on the field. He is their leader off the field. They called him, they start calling him Dave Allen. The Reverend, and it makes sense. In 2013, what does he do? 162 games played in 2013. He had 27 homers, 99 runs driven in, and 22 stolen bases. You back that up in 2014, 162 games played again. This is a modern day Iron Man when guys just don't play every day anymore. And this is the ultimate. Here they are on the brink of not making the postseason. He says, I'm gonna grab the mic, Go out and talk to the crowd. Do the yes, yes, yes. Do you want to see another game at home? Yes, yes, yes. What do they do? They go to Pittsburgh. They miraculously take down the Buckos, who had all sorts of steamroll in their way going into the postseason. The Washington Nationals were the best team in baseball in the National League at least last year. And sure enough, no problem. Here's Hunter Pence rounding the troops. And guess what? Travis Ishikawa, the Giants win the pennant. The Giants win the pennant. And there's your guy. No, we're not done yet. We want more. Hold on, boys. Hold on. There's more in my vision. Game seven on the road in Kansas City. No problem. Once again, in. Hunter Pence is sitting here, and you know there's something special about this guy when he's quoting philosophers. Yeah. Who was it? Yeah. Was it Voltaire that said, I, I choose to be happy because it's good for my health? I don't, you know, why, why not? <laughs> I have a dream! Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, FDR! I, I, the, the only people I can describe to, to relate Hunter Pence to are great leaders in the world, great speakers in the world. And this is him, this is where he fits in. This is Hunter Pence, and look at the numbers with Hunter Pence, 18 and six, 5.8 runs per game. He is so instrumental in the middle of that Giants lineup. Without Pence, you can see the sub 500 record, uh, every, everything else, and, and that goes to tell me that guys feed off of him. And it's not just, it, it's emotionally, it's obviously physically with what he brings to the table, he is the definition of the, like when I, everyone, Buster Posey is Buster Posey and, and he's forever going to be uh, looked at almost in the same light as Joe Montana. The, the way I related this to Bay Area fans, I said this the other night, is Hunter Pence is like your Ronnie Lott. Hunter Pence is your Roger Craig. Hunter Pence is your, your, your guy that, that you, you know what, it's, it's not just the superstar this and that. There's so much more to him and I'm, again, I'm serious about this. They do not win the World Series in 2012 or 2014 without them. So what you're saying is leadership matters, chemistry matters. Absolutely. One, so because what, you're, what, what I'm hearing from you through, that, through all of that is his presence. Forget about what he does on the field. Clearly, clearly that helps too, but that presence in the locker room every single day with, with their guys that has an impact on a, on a ball club and a championship ball club. Don't take this the wrong way. And I, I even said it to a few of the Giants at, at Huddy's party. I'm like, it's almost like he's this cult leader. Right. And, and they're like, yeah, like it, really he is. But everything, a lot of people look at it and say, oh, is, is it an act? 
And the, you know what they say to me, like it is the furthest thing from an act. This is exactly who this guy is. And, it, and again, I go back to the time when he's sitting there and he's he hit two nineteen down the stretch. He wasn't doing anything. He was struggling in the playoffs against Cincinnati. And he's the guy that's going to step up. People are wondering whether or not he was going to be in the lineup. And he and he just delivers this speech that that everyone rallies behind. And from there, I mean, it's just magic. Magic has happened. So. Shout out to the, uh, the Reverend.